Welcome. In this video, we're going to do a solo playthrough of The Few and Cursed. So there's three solo variants in this. I'm going to go with the Cursed Chaser. So our objective is to defeat three monsters before they enter San Andreas. We'll lose the game if a monster enters San Andreas or if our health ever drops to zero. I did do another video on how to do setups. So if you want to check that out, feel free and just Due to the size of the board, I'm going to try to condense some things in. So hopefully everything will be in view. I'm going to be playing as the Redhead. Got a passive ability. You may attack a wanted bounty that is in adjacent space. You can spend two ammo to get four attack. And we are starting with zero money, four health, two bullets with a max of four, and zero cursed with a max of four on that for now. So final some setup, we'll take our four monsters, randomize those, make our stack of four here, then take all our other baddies we'll be facing or looking at in the most wanted stack, and deal those all out, and reveal the top spot of each. So last seen in the desert, we've got the coward, Mountain View, Rattler's Elite, and the Ruins, Cult of Horus, and Expedition, Mr. Fairweather. So we will get four jobs to take a look at to start with. Let's see what we get. Just going to keep that one because the uh, most money on it. If we ever go down to zero health, which means we lose the game, so that's no good for us anyway. But I just want it for the money later, so we'll keep that job. Let's see, camp in the desert for a survivor to get up to five health. It shouldn't be too difficult to get that. And a con man, get up to six curse, which shouldn't be too difficult either. So these will get shuffled back in. And I'll put them in my mobile job location. So just real quick over the round sequence, we have four phases and there's basically a fifth when you're playing solo. We've got improvise. We'll be looking at two cards, keeping one and counter. So depending on when we're in San Andreas, we can choose to shop or visit the job board. For outside, we're gonna draw an appropriate uh, encounter card. Action phase, we'll play our cards. We're allowed to do one action, defeating a bounty, cover an artifact, rob another player, which won't happen solo. Encounter again, camp to gain a health, and play our character card action. In our cleanup phase, discarding down as we want, draw back up to four cards. Return to San Andreas if we shuffled, doing anything other than camping. The monster move towards San Andreas, then we pass, well, no passing that token. Step five in this is if we didn't defeat anything on the most wanted side, we have to discard the top card of one of those stacks. So we start with improvising. So shuffling all these cards is a task. So I'll just mix some of those up. Go halfway with one stack. Half with the other. I think I've got room for a few more on that. So we're gonna draw two cards and we get to keep one of these. First we do take our special stack and draw four cards. So we've got a survivor, cursed, Expert Tracker and Treasure Hunter. And we're either getting Sprint or Sprint. So we'll take a Sprint, the other card gets discarded. Then we'll get to Encounter, so we get to choose to do another job or go to the store. And since we have zero money, we're gonna do a job. So you look at two cards, we can keep one of these. Tour Guide at the end of the game, score three for every job you've completed. Seems like a good one to keep. Discarding that one, and that's part of our job encounter. We can get rid of one of the cards we have to collect that much money. So we'll get four money. 
place that there. So I'll scoot this over a little bit. Most of our jobs go underneath along with our inventory. I'll just put these over on this side for now. Uncompleted. So now for our action phase, we're gonna take advantage of our ability here. We're gonna attack a wanted bounty that is in an adjacent space. Actually wanted is over there. I wanna take on one of these most wanted. Anyway, we're gonna bank three movement. We'll use one movement to go to a desert. So we still have two left. Then we need six fight for this guy. We're gonna spend two bullets to get four fight. Five, six, and seven. So that's enough to take care of him. We get four money as a reward. Along with two grit. And we still have money left over, so we will move back to town. For cleanup phase, we'll go ahead and discard our hand. Draw back up to four cards. All right, so we've got some curse, some more movement, and some fight. And since we defeated a most wanted, nothing else happens here. So we'll reveal Barrett, last seen down here. We'll go on to our next turn, so improvising. All right, Wicked World gives us ammo, and that gets us cursed. I'm going with ammo. Encounter, one thing I did forget to do, we're gonna go shopping now. So we'll shuffle this out. And the top three are gonna be available to us. So we've got a Colt, a hat, and a knife. So we're gonna do our once per store visit. We're gonna discard all these cards, keeping the knife on top. So that's still gonna be available for us to purchase from. Finding another knife, a Gatlin gun, and a Colt Walker. So the first thing we're gonna do is spend four money to increase our health. So we've got other options. We can spend a dollar to buy a bullet, spend two to increase our bullet capacity, three to increase our curse threshold, and then four for health. So we have five health, so we're a survivor. We meet this quest. So it's gonna get us three money. And five grit. So we'll put that in a completed stack. We'll spend two to increase our bullet threshold. And then two more, leaving us three, and we'll increase our curse with that. So we are broke. We're done shopping. Our action phase, we'll play this to gain two bullets. I'll also play to give us two movement, along with two attack. So move to this desert space, that calls to movement, and then we'll move over here, which is a movement and an attack. We'll spend one of those so we don't take damage. Then we're gonna take the camp action. So we take our hand, cards played, discard pile, and our deck, give it a shuffle, and we gain a health. Then off to our cleanup phase. Four cards. Survivor for hire, our Wicked World and Expert Tracker. Since we didn't take out anything in the most wanted, we'll discard a card from the top. So last seen in the cursed area, we've got some hangmen. Then our next round, we improvise. Got an uppercut and a hired gun. So with this one, we get plus two fight, or we can sacrifice it or trash it to make it three, or we can just take the plus three combat. Encounter, we are in a ruins area. So we'll take our basic encounter cards, give them a shuffle. 
and see what we encounter. We are in the ruins. You attempt to translate an ancient tablet found beneath the ruins. The text is dense and confusing. Will you trash a card from your hand to stay focused and succeed? Upgrade any one of your stats or move on from the ancient tome. I'm all about upgrading one of her stats, so trash a card from her hand. Up, oh, we're gonna trash this one. And up our bullet capacity. So that's our encounter. Then for our actions, we're for hire. We'll grab some money. Get just two coins. We'll grab some bullets. Then bank five fight. So here we will use our passive ability, attack a wanted bounty that is in an adjacent space. We're going to attack over in the desert area. Bring it over here. Last scene, we've got Talbot's gang spending two fight for that. So we've got three left over. So we're going to get a money and a grit. And this flips over. We have three left over. We can fight these guys twice. So we'll spend that getting two more money. And a grit, and flip it back there. So that is going to be our turn. Clean up, one, two, three, and four. Ooh, lots of cursed and some movement. So the cursed, uh, copy the effect of another card you played this phase. If it's an artifact, we lose a health. We didn't defeat anything over here, so we will get rid of this card, revealing Butch Talbot. Start our next round with improvising. More bullets, money and cursed. We're going bullets. Counter at the ruins again. Gunshots ring in your ears and wake you from your slumber. A gang of mercenaries descend upon the ruins. Spend a movement to take cover and improvise again this turn or elude them by moving to an adjacent space. I think we're going to improvise again. So spend a movement. We're playing this. Gave us two movements so we get to improvise again. Oh, more Wicked World and a Blessing. We'll go bullets again. Now that phase is over, so even though we just spent one, this card is gone along with that resource. So our actions are not gonna be much. We're gonna to try to get four bullets, but we will, well, I think I can do this better. We'll get two bullets. We are in the ruins. We're going to spend two bullets, which gets us four fight to defeat here. We have to trash a card in our hand. So we'll get rid of one of our curses. Does get us a grit. Flips over and we'll just keep it there. Then we'll grab two more bullets. End or turn, discarding down. Two, three, and four. So this doesn't matter until we need to draw some cards. So we've got some movements and we've got some combat. Once again, we didn't defeat anything. So we'll discard this one, which reveals Laverne. Next round to improvise. Got some sprint or an armed robbery. We'll go with sprinting. I don't seem to be moving much. Encounter in the ruins again. So as you explore the ruins, you come across a rusty old water pump. After a few pumps, water starts sputtering out. You can store the water in your canteen for plus five money or drink it now for plus one health. Well, we'll take the five money. Ruins has been good to us. 
So we've got four movement and three fight. So we're gonna go lose one movement here, lose a movement, gain a curse, another movement, and we use one of our fights. So that was one, two, three, and another movement and another curse. And while I would love to get one of these, I don't want to go back to town. So now we're going to rest or camp, gain a health, shuffle all our cards up. And hopefully next round, we're going to get something good in here. So clean up four cards. Wicked World for hire, our curse card, and more bullets. We'll lose a card over in Most Wanted. Brings out the Bartholomew Emus. So we get to improvise. So plus two movement and draw a card. Curse and draw three cards. We'll take the Gallop. Encounter, this is a cursed area. So we're down in a different encounter stack. So three options. Need to spend three movement, evade and improvise again this turn. Spend three fight, fight in the pit, uh, trash a card in your hand or discard, or get knocked down and lose a health. I'd like to improvise again. So we're gonna play this for plus two movement and draw a card. And we've got the other movement. So evade and improvise again this turn. All right, plus two fight and a movement or plus two curse allows us to delete this card to trash a card from your hand and improvise again. We're gonna go with the quick reflexes. These get discarded, and now our action phase. So we are going to recover an artifact. So we are gonna look at those cards. So we could choose one of these, and then the, since we can only have one from each location, the other two should be removed from the game. So the idol is gonna get us five grit at the end of the game, plus two attack, two movement, and two money. Seems good, two movement, two money, and draw a card or three fight and two bullets. Well, Redhead, I think we're gonna pick the twins. So we're gonna take that, that goes to her hand. Typically you just wanna keep this so you know you can't have any more of that color, but these would just be removed from the game. So go ahead and play these, that gets us two money. Gets us two bullets, we only have room for one. Got a movement into fight. We'll move one space, which gets us cursed. End or turn. I'm gonna to choose to keep the cards in my hand. So we'll just be drawing one card into a sprint. And we will lose a card here, which is gonna reveal one of our monsters. So I got lucky here, Crow Prime is showing up right where we left. So I just need 22 fight to defeat him. All right, so back to our turn, improvising. Two fight, two move, and a curse. Let's see, fight and a move and draw two cards, then discard two cards. We'll keep that one. And we're gonna start with that, banking the attack and move, drawing two and discarding two. Don't need any more movement. All right, so I can't move in here until I get enough combat to defeat him. So I'm gonna spend one, two, three, four, five, six, which is gonna get me 12 fight. And get me two bullets back. Go up to 15 fight and get me two more bullets. Go up to 16 fight. It's 
spin two, which gets me to 20, and two more gets me to 24. Then add the movement to start with, move in here, get a cursed, spin my 22 fight. So we've taken care of Crow Prime, gets his 12 grit. So go up to 22. And we'll sit him over in our victory display. And that seems like a good turn, so we'll end it there. Discarding down. Drawing four cards. So we've got our Survivor, Wicked World, Survivor, and a Hired Gun. And we definitely defeated something in the Most Wanted, so on to our next round. Improvising. Really like to get something that reduces our cursed. So we're just going to take the sprint because we don't want that card at the moment. So we're encountering in a cursed location. So it's a wicked world. You need to spend two movement, bury the bodies to get plus two grit. To fight, use a blood ritual, gain two health and a curse, or throw up and leave to lose three grit. Well, that doesn't seem like a good option. So we're gonna spend the two movement to bury the bodies and get two grit. Then for the action phase, we'll grab two bullets. We'll bank seven attack. We're in a cursed location. Let's just take on the crows of Mana Alana. So we'll spin five. Remove three cursed. Gain two. Flip over. Yeah, we're not going to push it and go for six. So ending her turn. Drawing up to four cards. So we get two, then we have to shuffle. So we've got a sprint and a cursed. Shuffle our deck. Two more cards coming our way. All right, Berserk and another Sprint. Since we shuffled, go back to San Andreas. There's no monsters to move. We didn't defeat a monster over here. So we'll see if we can spawn one from somewhere. So we're getting the Wendigo. And he's coming in the top of the board. Our next round, improvising. Got a Berserk and an Uppercut. I like cycling through our deck, so we'll take the Berserk. So we can do a job or go shopping. We are going shopping for sure. We want to max our bullets out. So that means two, six well, money will do that. We're going to do our once per shop, to discard these, leaving the knife on top. All right, so don't have enough money for that. We've got enough money for a harmonica. We are going to spend three to increase our curse. We've got three money left, so we're gonna buy three bullets. Yes. One, two, three. So we're done with our encounter phase, so action phase. We wanna travel that direction. So we know he wants to move, go on the shortest distance. So one, two, three, four, five, or four, five. We're gonna use this, draw two cards and then discard two cards, banking a fight and a movement. So at the moment, I don't think fighting's gonna help as much. 
So we'll go ahead and discard these. Then do the same thing again. Draw two and discard two. Yeah, we're not fighting this turn. So we'll grab two bullets. And now we've got a total of six movement. So one, two, three, and four, and we'll stop there. So we know he's gonna move one space on the next turn, so we just need to get two movement to get to him and hopefully defeat him. He's got 18 health. It didn't do any action, so we might as well uh, camp. Gain a health. So that's going to end the action phase, so clean up. Drawing four. We're cursed, sprinting, wicked world, wicked world. So no combat, but we got our two movements and plenty of bullets. Didn't defeat anything over here, so we are going to discard a card. And that brings up guards in the canyons. Oh yes, before we did that, Wendigo moves a space. So we've got our Improvise. Drawing two cards, trash a card from your hand, or plus three movement. Um, guess we'll go with Morals. We've got the movement we need for the round. So we'll start by, well, we'll wait and do our encounter, I guess. So we're in the ruins. They've been good to us so far. So last man from the massacre bleeds out. He reaches out to you. You stretch out to meet his hand and he smears blood all over your fingers before dying. If you're cursed, you taste the man's blood for plus two health. We are not cursed, so nothing happens. Not thirsty enough for that yet. All right, starting our action phase, we'll draw two cards. Then we trash a card from our hand. And being that we now have three sprints, we will trash that sprint. We'll play the Wicked World for two bullets. We are going to two, four, six, eight, ten, which is going to get us 20 attack. We'll then add two. Move to and attack, taking out the wind to go. So a reward is nine grit. Takes us up to 35. So we've got one more to defeat. So we had leftover fight. We have some movement. So I'll move this. So we're gonna move over here. We had the extra fight, so we're good. Ending our turn in that space. So discarding. Clean up, drawing four cards. So we've got Survivor, For Hire, Expert Tracker, and Gallop. We definitely beat up a Most Wanted. So back to improvising. Sprint or an armed robbery? Um, we've got too many sprints in our hand, so we'll go with an armed robbery. Encounter in a cursed location. Go north, crows south. So discard your hand, collect crow blood, upgrade all stats. Uh, spin two movements, heed the warning, increase your threshold or curse threshold or flee in fear, minus one. I think we're going to heed the warning. So there's our two movements. We also get to draw a card. So we draw into a survivor. So increase our curse threshold. So for our actions, we're looking for an artifact. All right, so our options here. 
Got the book, giving us an attack, three movement and two money. Drawing three cards. Or plus four movement and a curse. And I think we'll take the three cards. No, well, we've got a lot of, we'll go with the four movement. So these get removed from the game. So we can come up with five movement and we're getting accursed. Let's see what that does for our movement across the board. See if we can get over there. So one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. We'll throw out four attack. So movement is going to cost us one and an attack, one and a curse. Movement and a curse. Then an attack and two movement. We'll grab two money, because we're out for hire. End our turn. We'll choose to discard and draw four. All right, Berserk, Treasure Hunter, Expert Tracker, and Wicked World. We defeated nothing, so we'll lose a card and see what pops out. So he comes out where we are located. So the white demon pops out where we are located. And from what I understand, when they spawn in that location with us, he's not gonna hit us. They only do a damage to us when they move into our spot. So basically next turn, if we can do 16 damage, we will end the game. So improvising. Minus two curse or plus two cards and trash a card from her hand. Well, this late in the game, we don't need the blessing. We'll keep that. Encounter in a cursed location. The elusive. Spend four money to strike a deal to lose two cursed. Four money, scared away. Improvise and plus one curse or ask for forgiveness. Well, we're just gonna ask for forgiveness. Go down on a curse track. Action phase, draw two cards and trash a card from her hand. So we will, let's see, keep those. We don't need movement. Actually, I don't know if I can get that high on him. Well, let me think this out a little bit. Plus two bullets. I'll play this to get a fight and one movement. Draw two cards and discard two cards. Now we're getting some fight. So we'll discard those two. Whoops, those got discarded. Don't want to count those later. I'm going to play Cursed. Copy the effect of another card you played this phase. If it's an artifact, we lose a health. We're going to copy the Wicked World for two bullets. Then we're going to spend two, four, six, which will get us 12 fight. So we're up to 13, 16, and 18. We only needed the 16 to take out the white demon. It's gonna get us eight. So go up to 43. And our objective was to defeat three monsters before they enter San Andreas. And we have done that. So if we're counting grit, I think I've got another card. So we've got seven grit on that. So 13 more grit, takes us to 56, plus another three. So we end with 59 grit, and things kind of went our way on that one. I mean, we just went clockwise around the board and that's the way the monsters popped out, but I mean, it's all random. So that's the basics of how to play 
the Curse Chaser solo variant for the few and cursed. So this is my second solo play of this. I enjoy the game. I like the new mechanic there. I like the adventuring going around. The other side of the board is more difficult, which I recommend for multiplayer. I have played this one time multiplayer. So there's a lot more combat attacking in movement, which I kind of like. So I do recommend this game. Played it enough. I enjoy it. So as always, I hope you enjoyed this playthrough. So please click on the like button below and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.